What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today's video is going to be about having a home curriculum for your children. You know, because we can't rely on the state or the federal government to teach African history properly or to teach anything uh, important involving uh, the African, the African uh, contributions to America, to the world, you know, to, to humanity as a whole. And uh, the information that they do teach is very limited and it doesn't even, it doesn't even, um, it doesn't even come close to all our contributions and the things that we've done and our achievements. So it's up to us as parents to teach our children. We know the school system is not going to do it. This is not our system. We didn't create this system. This system wasn't created to, to teach us about ourselves. So it was up to us as parents to do that for ourselves. We have to be active about it. We can't just talk about it. We can't just say black power, black love, black history, blah, 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 blah. And a few videos on here and there. We watch that. We got to we gotta become more active. Like, are you creating a playlist on YouTube of various uh, videos that's teaching you about your history? Are you creating a playlist for your children to, to look at? You know, you could do that. You know, go on YouTube. All the videos that you see that you think is something important. These are uh, historical figures, uh, ancient kings and queens, kingdoms, any any bit of educational information about about uh, your people, about black people, about Africans. You should be saving that. Every black person, every black parent should be saving that in a special a special location on their YouTube, on their Facebook, on their Instagram. And then you should be exposing your children when they're young to this. They need to have this in their brains when they're young. You know, also expose them to, you know, black superheroes, uh, black TV shows. You know, get, download that black world, that African world into their heads now. While, while their brains are soft and while they can, they can hear everything, while, while they're absorbing everything. Do it young, while they're young. So that way, if something piques their interest, they may pursue it further as they get older. You know, so we have to think, we have to do that because no one else is going to do it. That's the thing. We we may be gathering the information now, right? But our kids are not doing it. Our kids are thinking about what kids are thinking about. All right? They're, they're playing Fortnite and, you know, they're playing video games and, and that's it. That's what they're doing. They're enjoying lives. They're being kids. But at the same time, as parents, we have to put this in their heads. We can't just go to sleep. We can't just leave this world while we, we can't just wake up ourselves, leave this world, and leave our children, abandon our children, their children's minds. I mean, that's what we did before. We've done that already. And look at the result. You know, look what happened when we stepped away from our Africanness, from our blackness, from our self, self-knowledge, self-learning. Look what happened. We had a whole, whole generation of, 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 of tragedies. The 80s, the 70s. I mean, in the 60s, we had it together, man. In the 50s and 60s, before that, we was a unified group of people with a unified mission. Our families were together. Fathers and mothers and children were in the house together, married. All right, we had that. They destroyed that on purpose. Okay, they did it again to us and we fell for it. We can't fall for it again. We have to educate our children. I have a playlist that I'm creating so that when my children grow up, when my, while, my, while my children are growing, they can, they can look at this. I even make videos as if I'm teaching my children. I want my children to see my videos, the ones that, that, are, that are important and relevant. I want them to see that. It'll always be there. It's, on, it's online. You know, so it's very important that we take control of our children's education. Because we all know the only thing we learn in school is how to properly cheat without getting caught and, you know, math and how to read, okay? Other than that, we don't really absorb any of that. We just kind of go through the motions, take a bunch of tests until it's over, all right? Until we, until we get enough grades, we graduate out of that system, out of that programming that they programmed into us. So we need to start programming our own children, create a curriculum. You know, children have um, short attention spans. Make something small. You know, five minute videos here and there. Just get it in their heads. Just throw it in their heads. Just ever so often, get in there. Eventually, something gonna stick. And that's what we have to do. You know, the battlefield is a multi-dimensional area. We have to attack it from every different angle possible. And education in the home is the most one of the most important ones. So that's all I wanted to say to you guys. Um, create a curriculum for your children so they can know what you know. Once you know it, they need to know it too. And make it so they can understand. All right? This is Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out. Okay, thinkers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon for the latest notifications.